Hi everyone, it's Hubert Shorter here with part two. Don't know why I put my finger up like that, but never mind. Part two of my video on best spells in Baldur's Gate 3. If you haven't seen part one, check the link below or the link to the left or the right. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. And you'll see all the information and more importantly, all the spells that I talked about. This is part two and I want to continue the discussion. So let's get started. The first spell I want to talk about is Bless. Now for your party, it's important that they gain whatever advantage that they can. Now Bless is a level one enchantment spell. I'm reading this. You can bless up to three creatures. They gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. So before you go into battle, it might be a good idea to make sure that everyone in your party has this spell in place. Very, very useful indeed. Fear is a level three illusion spell. Project an image so frightening it makes targets drop their weapons and become fearful. They will be easier to hit and cannot move. Now, I hadn't really used this spell much in Act 1. Act 2 as well, to be perfectly honest. But in Act 3, I found it very useful when trying to avoid getting hit. Especially if one of my characters was particularly weak. So, you might want to consider including this in your arsenal of spells just to ensure that, you know, if you do encounter a sticky situation, there's a way you can get out of it. So, fear, I would give it a try. Dimension Door is a level 4 spell, and as you might expect, it's got everything to do with teleportation. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. Again, this is very useful when you're trying to get out of a sticky situation, particularly if something's about to explode. Think of the Steel Watch mission and making sure that when one of those watchers is about to explode, you're not in range. Very useful indeed. I definitely use this. Well, I have been using it and I encourage you to make sure that you include this in your arsenal as well. Without a doubt, Chain Lightning saved me in the Steel Watch mission. It's a level 6 spell, and it can create between 10 and 80 damage. Strike an enemy with lightning, three more bolts will leap from the target, electrifying as many as three other enemies within 18 meters. No question about it. If you're going to do the Steel Watch mission, you must have Chain Lightning. I know some people might say that they can do it without Chain Lightning, but for me, there was no question about it. If I didn't have this, I wouldn't have been able to complete the mission. So, again, make sure you've got it. The last spell I'm going to talk about is Disintegrate. Now, it's a level 6 spell. And as you can see, you can do between 50 and 100 damage. That's an insane amount of damage. As it says, shoot a tiny green ray from your finger. If the 50 to 100 force damage reduces the target to zero hit points, it disintegrates into a crumbly ash. Very useful when, you're, when you need to take down a big boss. Um, so again... Steel Watch, Facing Gortash, you might want to make sure that you've got this spell available to you. And that's it. These are the spells that I think are going to get you through Act 3. So equip your characters, especially your wizard, your sorcerer, with these spells, and you shouldn't have any difficulties. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.